is an event. The main objective is to provide you with a platform where you can share your experiences, knowledge with your seniors. And uh, today for this purpose, uh, two of your seniors have come, uh, Mr. S.R. Singh and uh, Ms. Shefali Malik. And uh, both of them have come here. They are acting as your mentor. They would be guiding you. And you can ask them any kind of question regarding your uh, interviews or your uh, career growth, your basic any company profile, any kind of thing you would wish to ask, as well as your technical problem, non-technical, any kind of thing. Right? So, uh, first of all, uh, I'm thankful to both of you for coming. Oh, and <laughs> yes. And now I would uh, like to call Shivani <laughs> uh, to give a floral welcome to SR Singh sir and Shivali uh, Malik. Sir. So before we start, uh, uh, I would like to give a brief introduction of uh, SR Singh sir and Shivali. SR Singh sir is currently serving with Indian Air Force. He has over 14 years of technical experience in the aircraft maintenance engineering in Indian Air Force and about 5 years of working experience in IT department, again in Indian Air Force emphasizing system administration. Sir is currently working as senior Linux administrator in which his role includes managing more than 10 servers and more than 700 clients. In his, uh, apart from his uh, mechanical degree that is in BTEC, uh, he has done MCA and various Red Hat certifications like RHC, RHC SS, RHC BA. Positive attitude towards work, excellent problem solving skills and strong communication skills are his plus point. Thank you so much sir, for coming. Shefali Malik. Shefali Malik uh, has proven competencies in systems on Unix and database uh, platforms for over 5.5 years. She has been a part of pilot batch for various uh, reputed companies she has worked with including NaviSight, HCL Technologies, Putney Computers. Currently she is working in Birla Soft as senior system engineer. Ms. Shefali Malik has been very active in extracurriculars. She has published 27 reviews on internet and journals and awarded for uh, two of the reviews. She has hosted many seminars in the institutions she has worked with and she has been a part of various CSR activities at HCL and IG. So again, <laughs> now, uh, so again, first of all, I would like to start with the basic things like an interview <coughs> of both of them. Maybe come before yeah. we start, since we are like a handful of people, sure. I still you know like to know their names and yeah, one line of introduction. Definitely. We can start with the Zala, I suppose. Yes. My son is Zala, I am from IRMC and I am going to RSC. And one uh, extra thing about you that the uh, rest of us don't know. Something that uh, nobody knows. I want to make my place on the honesty and the in the field of the world. I do. Uh, my name is Vikram Singh. I've been working as a system administrator for an NGO. Uh, I've been in IT for one and a, more than one and a half. I have a lot to say. Uh, so I take little extra. Firstly, a heartfelt thank you to Alok sir. See, imagine guys, before even I introduce myself, I, I would like to tell that I did the course in 2010 and the reason why I'm coming back over and over, it's sir and the staff out here. I mean, they trained us so well and uh, the timely instructions that we got, it was like um, priceless. So our heart will thank, thanks to Alok sir. And there's a lot that you can learn technically, that uh, you can learn maybe personally, there's a lot that you can uh, learn. About myself, I started my career almost six years back. Now, um, started with a small company that's Navisite. I don't know how big it is now. <laughs> so then I moved on to HCL, iGate, and uh, now with Bella Soft. Uh, so far, Bella Soft is like uh, the best in terms of uh, 
uh, technology that's being offered. I'm working on uh, everything like clusters are there, Samba, or every technology is almost there. Again, thanks to you that you actually trained me on so many servers. If you remember, we used to say. One of the reasons you are being hired by all the, the top notch companies is that you really find us a beautiful girl having Linux skills. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I wanted to look at somebody with some software. What do you do with Linux, right? I mean, HR just sees Shifali. <laughs> <laughs> that could be one of the reasons, but yes, sir. Okay. And uh, yeah, that uh, is one of the things Definitely, it's like Linux. Guys, just one suggestion. Uh, Anybody can take that if there is slight uh, skill set gap, but not will set gap. You know, if you have that minus in your will, if you just uh, cannot connect to the technology, I doubt if you would stay that long, like five, six years or ten years. Look at Alok sir, in fact, he has been in Linux, I don't know, since when, since eternity. So it's like passion should be there. No matter at what point you realize that passion in which technology or which stream, just try to recognize that passion. That's the only bottom line I would like to convey. So that's all from my side. Okay. And in short, about your experience with Network Nuts? Network Nuts has given me, uh, I mean, they have shown me the way where uh, I should uh, lead towards. And uh, the confidence I've got uh, from all of them. Okay, this is the thing, and uh, how to explore the things. Because Linux is such a vast field that uh, everything cannot be taught uh, in a few classes. Okay. You need to have uh, that passion of exploring, exploring the things. Okay. Keep on exploring and you will get the uh, very new things to discover. So, and one more thing I would uh, tell that uh, keep watching uh, the videos uh, prepared by Alok sir. You uh, must be knowing the uh, channel. So the way he has uh, demonstrated uh, the things, practically shown the things, is really remarkable. Means the way he presents the things is really good, really interesting. So very uh, recent things you will be coming in touch with, and uh, you keep in touch with uh, the, uh, all blogs related to Linux. Like uh, Deviga got the feedback is that they are not able to clear the initial rounds of the communication skills. They are not able to clear the soft skills. So what kind of advice you would like to get? Because your uh, what do you, what do they call it? The operational round or the hard skill round comes at the end. Previously, you will be scanned for your com skills. You will be scanned for your English reading and writing skills. That is the interview pattern or the selection like miss pattern or actually the rejection criteria in mm -hmm. all the, the companies. Very true. Shivani, what you want to yeah. what what Same. they should be doing to enhance those skills? Because unless and until like, what we have fielded, unless and until you have the right soft skills, fine. We, we don't want you to be like uh, miss grammatically correct, yeah. but at least the spoken English and the confidence and Writing skills should be there. What you so one say? advice how I have managed so yeah, please, oh, that would be great. <laughs> Nothing like that. That would be great. Okay, uh, guys, <coughs> you can you know uh, firstly try understanding why we're focusing so much on communication because any stream, any industry that you walk in, this is 
something that you would be required to deal with. You need to meet up the interviewer, uh, your colleagues, team, every... Uh, I mean, communication is one base that you have to confront with every time. So what practical uh, advice that can be given? Maybe you take a 45 days challenge and read for one hour each day, read it aloud. So this is one practical advice that I can give you. Uh, then you can talk to yourself in mirror. That will show where the things are going on, are uh, going wrong. You can record yourself. So I'm giving you the practical advice since this is coming from my hosting uh, experiences. So that will give you a lot of uh, uh, experience and that will show you where things are actually going wrong. The three advices that I can really give. And if you follow it, this this pattern for around six months, trust me. Record yourself today, and after six months, you'll be a different person altogether. So, uh, these are advices from myself. Mubay, would you like to share uh, this thing that you have given so many like uh, interviews these days? So, all in all of them, I are was rejected because of technical skill. Might be they need some experience, guy. Right. right. <laughs> That's true, but no, the the, the rounds okay. which you need to qualify. If you would uh, like to share with your friends. Uh, that was uh, for a call center, people. Yeah, yeah. So uh, they found it. IBM, like, you have given mistakes, yesterday. Yes. Yes. Even I don't know what I have said. But See, every interview, of, take it as a learning. I mean, I get yeah. rejected and accepted <laughs> many places. Yes, yes. So none of the rejection should be a rejection for yourself. Mm -hmm. Make a list of all the questions that were asked and make sure that you know the answer of each and by the end of uh, like five, six interviews, I'm more than sure you'll be able to crack any interview. That is like quick advice that I can Since I'm, you want to say something regarding the soft skills or how they can... Yeah. Okay. Uh, the first criteria I would say that uh, you should... Uh, uh, certification really matters uh, in... Uh, it does. Because uh, at the most, uh, you can have all like you have all the knowledge, and uh, you are not able to. Uh, you are not getting calls because you don't have the certification. Mm -hmm. with you. Many of the clients have that requirement. One should be RHC. They don't accept people in their uh, project. So make sure you're at least an RSC and then uh, try graduating to words maybe RSC BA or RSC whatever the new courses are coming. So this technology, whatever you learn, won't, won't be you know useless at the end of your life. So that's what, what kind of questions like uh, were being thrown to you when you were uh, given your interview in like the builder soft? In builder soft, uh, to be what, honest, it was what, easier. What, maybe maybe they like my face. <laughs> so. It was a very uh, quick interview, but I had you know toughest of the interviews uh, in Tricor. Uh, I'm not pretty sure if anybody has heard about it. So uh, they they were like uh, six rounds, and all of them were uh, client interviews, and uh, they were like uh, they lasted for 45 minutes, and they went into so much of basics. They went into like details that you know maybe the first chapter can give this talk here in the RHC book itself. So make sure your RHC should be as clear as what it is. So uh, there is no escape. They can judge out from any of the files, important files that you're studying. Like even the EDC password file. Uh, let's take the example of this small file. You might consider that uh, we can ignore it, but trust me, the question would bounce back even on the seven fields of each person, each user that is created then uh, I was asked question about uh, user management, security, OS hardening. I'm sure you must be hearing about it a lot from your trainers and mentors. So try to focus more on basics so that none of the question is escaped. And if you're very clear within the basics, scripting and all, then you can graduate towards the later parts as well. So it's true, in fact sometimes I listen that they even come to the basics like definitions. Yeah. They, they, they definitely watch your words, how clear you are, how clear you are able to communicate to the uh, interviewers. And watching the videos, uh, the technical videos, they give you so much of insight. Sometimes you are reading but you know the things are not settling in your mind and you tend to forget or maybe not take that much of attention. But when you watch it, then your senses are you know alive, you are watching it, you are uh, listening to it and maybe doing it practically within, uh, within your 40 session. So that is like triple training at the same moment of time. So one thing like a student gets RHC certified. After that, 
Do you think that it is important these days that to upgrade himself with higher level certification like this? We have said R H C S S and others. It becomes a subsequent requirement whether it's for the project work or even if uh, he is going for interviews, they would ask for scripting special requirement. Do you think that it is important? I think uh, it is required nowadays uh, because uh, you are filtered on uh, some uh, basis. Like uh, so many people have come uh, with R H C. They have uh, background of uh, like I uh, believe. Experience of these many years, and they require a core Linux guy where uh, you are filtered on some basis, like 100 people have come for the interview. So, uh, like, you'll be filtered out, out of it. Miss, okay, you have done.